Executive Director of Community Relations at Region 10. She's sitting down with Casey. All right, thank you so much, Steve. Thank you as always for being here with us today. Good to see you. Good to see you. And we were excited to learn that Region 10 recently got a facility service dog. Um, tell us a little bit about Maggie and what her job looks like there at Region 10. Yes, it's very exciting. Maggie is a yellow Labrador and she started working at Region 10 a few weeks ago. And she comes to us from Service Dogs of Virginia and she has extensive training to be a facility dog, which means that she works alongside Region 10 staff and she has a number of skills to support the people we serve as well as our staff. She's been to some board meetings and she attended new hire orientation and so it's been really wonderful to have her. That is awesome. Uh, tell us a little bit about what make, made Region 10 want to get a facility dog. Well, we're always thinking about innovative ways to meet the needs of our community. And we spoke with other organizations who had gone through the process to obtain a facility service dog. And it just sounded like a really great way to support people. And dogs are energetic beings. And for so many of us, the post pandemic time has not been easy. And right. so getting some fresh energy into the workplace and into the community has just been really lovely. So. We're, we're really happy about it. Yeah, something like that can make all the difference. Um, what are the differences between different types of service animals? This is a great question that we've been getting a lot lately. So service dogs are trained in very specific tasks to assist people with disabilities and facility service dogs are also highly trained in a similar way to work alongside professionals. And so that's a little different from therapy dogs or emotional support animals, which are essentially pets that have a certification. And there's some restrictions on where those animals can be in public settings. Yeah, so it's good to know about those differences. Why was it so important for you all to partner with Service Dogs of Virginia? I know they're a wonderful organization. They really are, yeah. We've been so fortunate that they're here in Charlottesville. Um, it was really important to us that any dog that's working at Region 10 comes with the highly uh, extensive training, high, high set of skills that a dog like Maggie comes to us with. And while there's many kinds of dogs that we might see in the workplace, um, Maggie has specialized training. Some of the things that she does is she can provide deep pressure. Uh, the cue, one of the cues that we use for that is hug, so she can give a hug. Um, she can also do things like interrupting skills, and so an example of that would be if she sees someone with a shaky leg, and that's a common sign of anxiety, uh, she's been trained to go and place her head on that person's leg to interrupt that anxious behavior. So there's a lot of time and training that goes into teaching a dog those skills, so it just made sense to partner with an organization like Service Dogs of Virginia. It's so amazing what these dogs can do, and of course she's beautiful. Yes. <laughs> How can people meet Maggie? I'm sure everyone wants to. <laughs> yes, well, so Maggie is actually getting ready to have a litter of puppies, so she'll be out on maternity leave for a Aww. little bit. But after her leave, uh, she'll be back at work attending various Region 10 events, and maybe next time I can even bring her in the studio. Oh, that would be wonderful. I'm gonna go ahead and lobby for that. So <laughs> thank you so much as always for being here, and we'll have you back soon. Thank you. Thank you. Back to you, Steve.